So my thought tend to follow are as follows. A Plutar, who was runner-up in last year's Tottenham Gold Cup, I've picked him because he's going to the Betfair chase, which is left-handed and will suit him. And he could therefore go back to the Savills as well in Leperstown at Christmas time. So you need great one winners if you're going to win this competition. Obviously, Honeysuckle jumps out. I'm sure she should be high at everybody's list. I've picked her for the Hatton's Grace hurdle. And who knows, she'll probably end up winning the Irish champion hurdle, maybe the champion hurdle. And go like she did last year, four grade runs from four, from four wins and make her a pretty big points earner. She's number two. Number three is Shaq and Pursois. Picked him partly, probably, a little bit because of a Willie Mullins man, but I believe he's going to go to the Tingle Creek, and t Tingle Creek even and take on Shishkin. So, yeah, that'll do me. Those points would be nice to win early on. Ener Gamin is the other one. I think Willie Mullins will try and keep himself and Shaq and Pursois split for as long as he can during the year, and I think he could be the best two-mile chaser in Ireland if Shacken is going to go to the Tingle Creek. Five is Echoes and Rain. I'm looking for something maybe to crop up in the Morgiana. I thought she was a very good novice hurdler last year. Obviously, if Honeysuckle goes to the Hatton's Grace, she mightn't run at Leperstown on Christmas, and for Honeysuckle to win the Morgiana, she might well back up with a second win at the Dublin Racing Festival and bag herself two Group 1s. Manila Endo, I believe he's going to go to the King George. I watched him in Down Royal and thought he looked very... Uh, not very, I thought he was well underprepared and I think he'll improve a hell of a lot and he could be one for the King George. I think Field Door was very impressive at Down Royal. He's number seven or six even. He could rack up the points for me early in the season there. Appreciate it. I think he's my novice chaser for the year ahead. He was a brilliant winner of the Supreme and I think when you're the best novice hurdler, you've every chance of being the best novice chaser. Time Hill, I know he disappointed in France on his first start, but I expect him to bounce back in the long walk and I think he's going to be the star stairs hurdle horse that'll be hardest to beat this year. And finally, Kilcrut, he was unlucky in the Cheltenham bumper. He made amends at Punchestown and I think he could be the outstanding novice hurdler.